Hi, so my name is Chris Stensgard. I'm a physical therapist at Oakdale OBGYN, and I am just gonna talk a little bit about dry needling, which is a new service that we are kind of offering through Oakdale. So essentially what dry needling is, it's a technique that's performed by a licensed practitioner. Um, and we use the use of like a thin needle inserted into an area of kind of tissue dysfunction. So what that commonly looks like for me is if I have a patient that comes in and maybe they have, you know, chronic hip pain where they just have a lot of tightness and it's never getting better um, or a situation like that, you know, really bad upper trap tightness, something like that. I would do an assessment of that patient to see what that kind of tissue looks like um, and where that dysfunction is occurring. And then if I think they're appropriate, I would use dry needling. So what the technique looks like is you use that thin needle and you insert it into kind of a muscular area where there's a lot of trigger points, knots, um, and that kind of dysfunction is occurring. When the needle is inserted into that muscle or trigger point, it causes a twitch, like causes the muscle to contract, which creates a local twitch response. That twitch response then causes what I like to call a reset of the circuit. So dry needling has these great benefits in allowing that, that muscle that's knotted up to kind of release and let go. So we have this nice lengthening and increased mobility of the tissue. It also improves nerve signaling, reduces the pain, the chronic pain signaling that's occurring and kind of helps reset that um, signaling. It increases blood flow to the area and allows tissue remodeling for, for healing. Um, so that's just some of the benefits of dry needling when you use, when you kind of do the technique. One question that I get asked often is what is the difference between dry needling and acupuncture and are they the same thing? So. They use the same needles. The filiform needle that they use is called a dry needle, meaning it's not inserted, like doesn't have medication in the needle. Um, the difference between the training, acupuncture uses kind of an Eastern Chinese medicine, looking at meridian points and energy flow and qi. Dry needling uses Western medicine where we're really looking at neuromuscular dysfunction occurring in a tissue.